In the middle of the night on November 14, 1995, a bus numbered 375 headed from Winter Palace, Beijing to Shanshan Mountain. The driver that day was a middle-aged man, and with him, a young female ticket inspector. Because it was the last bus on the route, there were not many passengers. Four passengers got on when the bus arrived at the South Gate stop at Winter Palace. They were a young couple, an old lady in her 70s, and a young man. The young couple sat in the double seats directly behind the driver, while the young man and the old lady were sitting one behind the other in the single seats next to the door. Since it was the last bus, it was very late and extremely cold in November, so there were no other pedestrians or cars. The bus was the only thing left on the road. Not long after the four passengers got on the bus, about two stops later, the driver suddenly cursed loudly. What the hell is happening today? Normally, there are no passengers at this time. Why are there so many people today? And what is wrong with those people who stand in the middle of the road instead of at the bus stop? It turned out that there were two people waving to stop the bus at roughly a quarter mile away. Logically speaking, the driver did not need to take those two people because they were not standing at the bus stop, but due to the cold weather, and that this was the last bus, if they didn't catch this bus, no one knows how long they would have to wait. So the kind ticket inspector said to the driver, hey, let's take them. It's the last bus. They won't be able to find another bus if we don't let them on. The bus driver listened to her and stopped the bus. It turned out that there were three people instead of the two they saw, and they had some strange outfits on. The two standing on the sides were wearing the kind of robe from the Qing dynasty. No one knew whether they were men or women, and their faces were just plain pale, perhaps due to the cold weather and the wind. Standing between them was the third person, who had disheveled hair, couldn't stand still, and was being held by the other two. The three folks got on the bus and went straight to the seats at the back and sat down. Currently, other than the driver and the ticket inspector, the other four passengers were frightened due to the appearances of the new passengers. To calm everyone down, the ticket inspector said to the first four passengers, Oh, don't be afraid. There are lots of filming going on around here. Maybe they just finished a shoot and the guy had too much to drink after. See? They didn't even have the time to change their costumes. That person in the middle is so drunk, he's not even conscious. I see stuff like this all the time. So don't worry. Having heard her words, everyone thought, yeah, that's right. This is Beijing. There are lots of people in the film industry. It should be all good. So everyone eventually relaxed after. But the old lady's expression was still very nervous, and she constantly turned and looked back at the three new passengers. The bus continued to drive, and there were no more passengers on the way. After about three or four stops, the young couple got off the bus first. After that, the bus driver, the female ticket inspector, the old lady, the young man, and the three folks in costumes remained on the bus. Shortly after, the old lady suddenly pointed at the man in front of her like crazy and cursed. Did you steal my wallet when you got on the bus? My wallet is missing. You must have stolen it. The young man was stunned. How can I steal your wallet? You crazy old woman. But the old lady still stared at the man fiercely, insisting that it was him. She told the driver that there's a police station at the next stop so there go to the police to see if he stole her wallet. In order to prove his innocence, the young man said, All right, fine. I'm not afraid because I didn't steal your wallet. The police will prove that I'm innocent. So when the bus arrived at the next stop, the driver stopped for the two to get off. The old lady stared at the bus as it drove off. And after the bus disappeared in sight, she let out a sigh of relief, finally. And the young man questioned her. Hey, aren't you going to the police? Why are you standing there? 
Go on. She laughed out loud. The police. We're not going to the police. Don't you know that I just saved your life? Having heard this, the man looked puzzled. Saved my life? What do you mean? The old lady responded. The three with the costumes, they're not human. Of course, the young man didn't believe it. The old lady insisted on saying to the man, I was frightened after they came up, so I kept peeking at them. And guess what? A gust of wind blew into the bus and lifted their robes up, and they didn't have any feet. The man was shocked to hear that, and he couldn't say a word, so they went to the police to report the case. But if you were the police, would you believe them? So, as expected, the police just sent them home. The next day, the general bus department called the police station to report the incident, saying that the day before, bus 375 did not return. Not only did the bus disappear, but even the bus driver and the ticket inspector did not return. Only then did the police remember about the reported case. Yesterday there were two crazy people saying that the bus was haunted. Maybe they knew something. Therefore, the police found the two and conducted a large-scale search along the route of bus 375. But unfortunately, they found nothing. After the incident was exposed to the media, the old lady and the young man were called in for an interview. The Beijing Evening News and Beijing News quickly reported the unusual incident with headlines on the evening of the interview, saying that the bus had been teleported. The next day, two days after the incident, the police finally found the bus. But the strange thing was that the bus completely deviated from the route it was supposed to travel, and it deviated too far. The final location of the bus was more than a hundred miles away from the last sighted place. This place was far from the last stop, Shanshan Station, and it would take more than two hours to drive. Surprisingly, there were no witnesses along the way to see the bus driving in this direction, so no one knows how the bus got there. The other puzzling part that people wondered was how did the last bus manage to drive more than a hundred miles when there was insufficient fuel from driving the whole day. Afterwards, it was rumored that the fuel tank of the bus was not filled with fuel, but with blood. In addition, there were three severely decomposed bodies on the bus. The identities of the bodies were the bus driver, the young female ticket inspector, and an unidentified man. What was the reason that the corpse could be severely decomposed in just two days? Lots of people think that they were murdered. However, autopsy confirmed that the decomposing was not man-made, but natural. So what happened to bus 375 after the old lady got off with the young man? Who was the unidentified man? Was it really haunted like what the old lady and the young man reported?